Hey YouTube, this is Manny V, and you guys are watching Inspire Your Mind, and we have our lovely co-host today, Cindy. Say hello to the audience. Hi guys, I'm Cindy, and today we are talking about proper etiquette. How you can stand up straight, how you should be a little bit more proper, and how we're, we're losing that now. It's so critical, we're feeling as a society. I mean, men out there, they're really not a shake the hands of people. They're not even looking in the eyes, they're actually mm -hmm. slanting when they're talking. And it's definitely doing a disservice yourself, and women out there are doing the same as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, all these fake hugs and these not looking people in the eye and not even knowing how to set a table correctly. Absolutely. What's some of your highlights of this? Men need to pull up their pants. That's one of the things <laughs> I think. Um, being clean, um, hygiene, typical hygiene, you know, deodorant, a shower, that's great. When you approach people and start talking to people, you want to shake their hand, look them in the eye, you know, square up with them and present yourself and listen. I think active listening is a, is a huge thing that people need to do. You listen, you can respond better, you can remember things better. It just makes the process a lot better. It's showing respect to the other person when you are present. Absolutely, present is what really is gonna lead you in the moment. I mean, girls out there, the chatterbox, I mean, you're not going anywhere with this. I mean, our brains can only retain the last 10 seconds of what you said in a minute. So if you're just yapping your mouth off, I cannot give a good feedback. So remember, the way you conversate is, say a few sentences, wait for the feedback, give your opinion, and let the other person talk. It's like a four or five freeway. There's north and south. If you're just going north, you're not getting anywhere. That's true. I also feel like we're losing a bit of, of the etiquette these days. Like you had mentioned setting a table. I grew up learning how to set a table. I grew up learning how to look a person in the eye, how to shake their hand, how to greet the person, how to leave a proper message, how to take a message. Things like that, and show, it all comes down to showing respect as well. You know, people don't even know how to set a table these days, and I think that's, uh, what are we doing? It, it's just you ridiculous, know? you know. Uh, you're right, set the table, and I think we should follow the Europeans, what they do when they eat. You know, set the table, and they don't watch TV at all. No, not at all. Not at all. I think we've also lost a lot of that value in other cultures and other countries. Right. Family time and sitting down with people that you love to eat is, is celebrate, you know, celebratory. It's, you're supposed to do that, and it's you're with the people you love, and one of my favorite mottos is, you know, good company, good food, I die happy. But you <laughs> need to, it's important. It's a thing that you do together, and you can interact with others, and that's showing respect, and that's having, you know, proper etiquette. And chew with your mouth closed. Absolutely. Uh, you definitely want to break bread, and that's how you actually upscale your etiquette skills, by talking with the family about your problems and situation. And, yeah, exactly. Look people in the eye. You know, face them the way, give them the uninvited attention. That way you can correspond with the right message. Because if your shoes and feet are looking that way, you're not giving them the right attention. Like that, exactly. Mm -hmm. They cannot give the best of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what are some of the um, advice you would give to our girls out there? Hygiene, again. Be clean, <laughs> be presentable. Um, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Yes, but women also too don't don't wear. I mean, next to nothing. You're asking for it if you're wearing next to nothing. You know, it depends. Right. It depends. Maybe that's your occupation. I can't say anything about that then. Right. But in certain situations, there's a time and a place. In certain situations, depending on what you wear, how you dress, that's important for women. Again, I think you should. Women should have fun with and be creative with their hair and their makeup and. Put some makeup on if you feel like it, or don't. I really like that. I like natural, I like makeup as fun and hair, but also be creative. Right. Really doing your hair kind of fun or a different way, have fun with it. Yeah. And you can look good and you can feel confident. Right. Um, but there are women too, just like men, who don't pull their pants up. It's like, oh, I can see, you know, you're thong, but just pull your pants up a little bit. <laughs> and that's not, yeah, that's not fun. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, ex exactly. Exactly. Unless you're Kim Kardashian, but... Yes. <laughs> yeah, unless you're Kim Kardashian. Kardashian, that's a different story. <laughs> that is true. Same thing for guys. I mean, fellas out there, you know, no deodorant. I mean, you have bad bread. I mean, what's what's going mm -hmm. on with you? I mean, e even when you're dressing up to the work, you know, be a little bit creative. You know, wear a dress yeah. shirt, have some designs, wear a nice tie. I mean, fix your hair a little mm -hmm. bit. And Do, treat yourself. And treat yourself, exactly. Go out and buy those things that could make you look a little bit more presentable. And again, there's a time and a place. When right. you're going for a job, you don't wear your pajamas. 
Exactly. You know? <laughs> Seriously. Just I, 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 probably people have done that before. I'm sure. I'm sure, exactly. You don't know I am so sure. What, what to but start. you're not going to get that job. That's reality. We're not going to get that job if you walk in looking like a slob. A slob, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, with that, I'd like to end our show. I want you guys to thank for you for watching our show and definitely subscribe. And what else should they do besides that? Like and comment below. Thank you.